all right guys yeah welcome back to another video today we're going to be putting back the camshaft going over every single step if you missed part one go ahead and um i'm gonna put a link to it in the bottom but it's probably gonna be my last video anyways on this video we're gonna be going over step by step how to put everything back together every uh torque spec i'm gonna try to go every every single torque spec um you know if i can find it um but yeah let me show you what i got um, if there's anything weird or anything that um, anything uh, that might give you uh, like an issue, I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna make sure you know I go over everything. I'm gonna step by step, step by step. So yeah, just um, stay tuned, hit that like button. Thanks for everybody who's been subscribing. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, and as you can see, we got the camshaft here, um, straight out of the tube, not even out of the box, but we got it here. Um, so yeah, first, first step, um, you know, make sure you get the when you, um, for your motor, 5.3, 4.3, I believe, 6.0, whatever uh, you got, make sure you get the right one. I'm going to compare mine, the height, it's just to make sure it's the same, even though I went by the VIN, um, you never know. So yeah, camshaft, and one of the important things is, um, assembly lube, you could just use engine oil really um but i'm using this uh they do have i do like the uh transmission um assembly lube that one's like a gel comes like a small little tub it's blue i'm trying to post a picture right here but if not um pretty much any type of oil there's that those two and then here is the the lifters as well um your vehicle might come with the AFM lifters, the ones that have the small little spring on it, mine are all the same. Um, so yeah, there's um, 16 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of them uh, just to be safe. Um, yeah, I got all my parts. Uh, they're ready. Like I said, this is the main thing. Make sure you compare it. And let's go ahead and, and yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab all this and let's go to the engine. All right, guys, so yeah, we're here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, you know, uh, get straight into it. Um, so yeah, get your camshaft. Uh, make sure you lube it up. Uh, same way as you took it out, uh, be careful when you're uh, putting it back in so you don't hit these uh, the bearings right here. Now, so yeah, just uh, take your time, put as much lube as you can as you're going. And yeah, you should have an issue. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I got um, um, a couple of them in. But yeah, as you're going, just put some of the lube on there, just a little bit on each lobe, and a good amount on the main one right here. Um, like I said, just keep putting it. See yeah, this main one, you know, make sure you get. Uh, the most of the um, oil that you're using or whatever you're using slowly uh, use your two hands I'm trying to use one I'm trying to hold the camera and just work your way in there yeah but um yeah I'm gonna need my two hands but yeah just uh, do that to each one and make sure it's all lubricated and yeah uh, so yeah, once you get to the end, it's going to be hard to uh, just put your bolts there again and kind of, you know, take your time on it and make sure it goes in there right. All right, guys. So now once all that's in um, and it's, you know, like seated right. Next, let's go ahead and put this um, uh, cam holding plate on there. And then me, I'm going to be uh, reusing my um, original four bolts. Cause the bolts that they gave me they're the same thread it's just a little longer and the head is a 13. for some reason i'm not liking that but i'm just um stick with these bolts uh, put on my new plate though uh, make sure your surface is clean and let's go ahead and install this all right guys and the torque spec for that is 18 foot pounds for the four bolts that hold in the camshaft plate uh but yeah just in case y'all were wondering um this is you know all data and it's showing you know doesn't show like uh, a torque sequence it just shows the torque up to 18 foot pounds so that's what I did 
just uh, do them in a star pattern, I guess, just so it can you know spread out the torque. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, and then so yeah, once we got um, all these bolts uh, tightened up, next uh, grab your cam bolt um, and you know just put it down all the way, size 24 again. Um, you are gonna have to spin it just, um, to get that little dot, as you can see right here. Um, that's on the sprocket. Um, yeah, that little dot just get it like straight up, uh, 12 o'clock position. That's our timing mark. Is gonna have to be okay. So yeah, just a quick little cut. Uh, this is pretty much how it's gonna be. Uh, that's the cam. Uh, yeah, in the bottom, there's that small little dot, and then on your new sprocket. And it's gonna be another line right here. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Okay, so yeah, this is how it's gonna look like. Um, your new sprocket right here, and then that little dot. So yeah, it's gonna pretty much look like this. It's gonna have to line up. But um, okay, so yeah, once you have that, you know, like somewhat aligned. Next, uh, put your chain on there. Um, you are gonna have to put your chain on there. Uh, this uh, the same time as going in. Uh, just because you can't do it um, after you can't put the cam or the sprocket and then the chain you know it's gonna have to be all the same all like this so let's go ahead and put this on uh, take your time make sure uh, they both align still uh, and then just you know don't tighten it up yet all right guys so it took me like about uh, I would say like maybe 10 minutes and I'm a I would say full-time mechanic so it took me 10 minutes so if it takes you 30 minutes an hour just take your time because this is a very important step uh, like I said make sure uh, both of the lines and the dot align uh, piston one top dead center which is the driver very very first one I just kept feeling it as well make sure you know it aligned um, but yeah so you just uh, take your time Align the two dots or the dot in that mark. Make sure they're straight on. Um, and yeah, and let's go over the torque specs. But yeah, like I said, just take your time. Um, that's all I gotta say. Take your time. Make sure they're aligned. Um, the cam is, is gonna be like moving a lot once um, you try to get your sprocket on, because the cam, uh, as you remember, we put some of the um, the lubricant, so it's like oily and it moves everywhere so it's gonna get kind of frustrating but take your time but yeah let's go over the torque specs and yeah let's go and then so yeah just the uh, three bolts uh, 26 inch pounds and that's all for the timing like I said take your time when you're doing that um, yeah I just held on to the sprocket and I torqued them down but yeah let's move on to the oil pump and yeah let's keep going all right guys and now for the oil pump uh, I'm replacing mine no uh, reason why no issues just replacing it just because the mileage and just because I'm here so if you want to reuse yours nothing wrong with it the only thing is to buy a new o-ring if yours isn't bad enough I suggest you get a new one mine came with the new one but yeah Anyways, I pre-ordered mine, put some of the lubricant, as you can see, put some right here at the bottom, put some right here where it's going to meet the surface, and I just kind of put extra inside here just so it can be oiled up. Now, as you can see on one of these, there's like a little notch. I've never had an issue. I just put it wherever. Um, just align these to the cam or the crank. And let me see if I can do this one shot. Yeah, literally, let's go. Kind of move it around. You might have to get a flathead to adjust those um, notches. As you can see right there. And, oh, there you go. There you go. Bolts right here. Torque to 18 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and torque those. And next, we're going to put the pickup tube. Yeah. That's all it is. Uh, 18 foot pounds, and that's it. All right, and then just another thing. Um, all that is just saying a torque. Um, 18 foot pounds. Sorry if it doesn't focus. 
18 foot pounds and no specific order just torque them down i guess in a star pattern like always but yeah let's keep going all right so now that we're under here get your pickup too put your new gasket on there um lube it up um and make sure that goes into the oil pump i oh, can't get a good view but yeah make sure it goes into your oil pump smoothly and then i'll and then see as you remember there's a 10 millimeter and 13s that go from here and over here so you just kind of like hand tighten and i'll show you the torque specs all right guys so yeah um i just got them um, uh torqued down uh it's just kind of hard to film anyways the bolt that goes on to the actual pump it's at 100 and six inch pounds sorry if, I, I don't know why is that focusing 106 inch inch foot pounds for the boat that goes to the oil pump and for these 13s that are on the uh blocks you can say um they're torqued to 18 foot pounds um yeah just make sure whenever um you put the uh the tube inside of the pump uh make sure it's flush try to get a better angle all right and then yeah, as you can see it's flush on there oh uh, yeah that's the most important thing uh, just make sure it's flush and then the next thing is to put the oil pan and that's it we're getting closer and closer all right so now that we got all the pump um you know on there the pickup tube is on there uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get the front cover um, on the front uh, timing cover. Okay, first thing you know, um, clean your surface area and go and clean your front cover seal. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then as you can see, I got my front uh, timing cover here. Uh, me, you know what I did? Um, what I always use is a razor blade. You can use a scrubbing pad. Uh, for dishes uh, that's a really good one um, but yeah just make sure your surface is clean also on the block we're here at the bottom as well make sure you get all the rtv off in the corners usually but yeah just um you know make sure you have all this clean the next step uh since we're here i'm gonna uh, be replacing this i'm gonna be um you know replacing this uh, uh crankshaft seal um how about a kit um, which I'm pretty sure you can buy anywhere. Um, it comes with the front timing cover, the uh, water pump gaskets, and the, the seal, which is right there. Uh, pretty much all I'm going to use, I think, is just the front crank seal and the uh, timing cover seal. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and replace this seal. Alright, so the only thing that I'm going to be using, a flathead, a hammer, and a piece of wood or if you have a rubber mallet there you go this is pretty much my rubber mallet i'll show you later on but yeah let's go ahead and remove uh, this seal which i'm gonna put right here on the side and get my flathead screwdriver um, and just hit it out or if you have a fancy tool you can just um, like put your tool in here and pry it out and same thing either way um, take your time on this because you can score um, like the aluminum on the side it can cause a leak and you don't want that so just make sure when you're hitting it if you're gonna hit it uh, make sure you get the you know right on the plastic and uh, don't go too far to the edge but yeah um, let's go ahead and remove this All right, and then as you see, that was pretty quick. But yeah, just uh, take your time on that, I guess. Uh, clean your surface area again with this pad. It's better, very clean if you have any. And so yeah, let me clean this up and go to the next step. Okay, so now we have our um, seal. Um, it comes in this plastic thing, just so it doesn't, um, you know, like, you know, curl up and, you know, going wrong. But yeah, here's this, um, the new seal. Okay, so yeah, here's our seal. And then also um, use your oil, whatever you're using. Uh, put some of the oil all the way around here. Put some right here. 
uh, just so it can slide in a little bit easier. Uh, pretty much, um, you know, this is your uh, plastic like casing that it comes in. It's pretty much um, like for you to hit the plastic and not the actual seal. So yeah, um, yeah, let me show you how I do it. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, and so, you know, as you can see, um, I was using this just so it can like, distribute out the pressure. And then just go around with your finger and make sure it's all smooth. Also, look around, um, you know, inside to make sure it didn't, like, you know, crawl up. Uh, that can cause a leak. Um, so, yeah, that's it for now. Um, you know, that's all for the seal. Just take your time. Just put a lot of oil. The more you put on there, uh, the easier it's going to slide in. If you have a rubber mallet, it's even better. Um, but, yeah, it's on there. Now let's go ahead and put this on and put the new gasket on. All right, so yeah, now that um, all this is done, seal is on there, surface is clean. Um, same thing on the block, make sure it's all cleaned out. Um, it might look dry because I'm taking a long time. I'm doing this all separate days, doesn't matter. All right, me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oil on the chain just so when we go ahead and start it up, it's not dry. So I'm going to put some oil and then uh, we'll put the front cover on. Alright guys, and now that the front timing cover is on, uh, let's just go ahead and torque them down. But before that, uh, make sure you have it somewhat loose uh, because all data, uh, they require you to have a plate so it's flat. Um, but me, I've done this a couple of times. I've never had an issue. Just run your finger at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, me. I've always, you know, done it like that without the special tool. I just get my finger and I go in the bottom of the front timing cover and the bottom of the um, block and I run my, my finger just to make sure it's flat. Um, I did install it right now and there was a big gap right here. So just, you know, loosen them up if that happens and then pick up the whole thing, hold it up and then tighten, you know, one bolt down. And that's you know far enough. Uh, so yeah, just make sure there's it's pretty much flat right here on both sides, and then torque them down to 18 foot pounds. Same thing as any other one that I've been showing you. Um, shows no torque sequence, just 18 foot pounds. I guess just uh, like always, just go across, and yeah, that's it. Important thing: make sure it's flat on both sides, 18 foot pounds and a cross pattern and yeah, just keep going. All right, so now that we are going to go onto the oil pan, uh, make sure you prep your surface, make sure it's clean, uh, make sure you do the, uh, the under of the block as well, make sure all this is clean, uh, and yeah. So anyways, um, here's my gasket. So I did notice that there's a bolt right here, a bolt hole, but there's nothing right here. And so if, if you run into this issue, don't worry. I try to look it up, but they're all the same exact thing. So I guess really not much you can do about it. Um, I guess it's just a new design. Anyways, um, there's 14 bolts. Um, all these are tens. Uh, tens over here, even this one. And then and if you remember, these two in the back are the super long ones. The ones that go up to the rear main seal. Um, and then there is a couple of the brackets that go on the side. I think there's like four. There's one right here, one over here in the front. And then the two little plastic ones right here and on the other side. And then the two 15s that go onto um, right here in the back. Uh, they go right here in the back. It's a go, uh, they go on the transmission. Uh, so yeah, um, there's all the bolts. Make sure your surface is clean, like I said. Um, your gasket is good. And we are gonna need to put um, RTV um, right here on these little squares at the corner, on, uh, on all four corners, uh, right there and over here. Me, I'm gonna put it on my block 
and then I'm gonna just you know a little bit right here. Uh, don't go too crazy. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, right here where the the rear main seal meets, and over here is where the front cover that we just did meets as well. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you once I have the RTV on there. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. Okay, guys. Uh, so yeah, I got my surface clean. I put some of the RTV on there. It's a very small amount. Put on all four corners. Also on my um, on the actual gasket, I put some on there as well. Uh, it's probably like too much already, but uh, I just don't put too much. Just the medium amount, small amount here, small amount there. But all they recommend is just to put a small amount on the actual gasket. So yeah, let me go ahead and. Uh, put these uh, bolts on there and then I will show you the torque spec how it's on there the only uh, difficult part is uh, to get past this uh, pickup tube um, on the on the on the pump itself I mean on the pan um, so yeah that's the only difficult part uh, make sure no wires get pinched and yeah there's not much to it so yeah, let's go ahead and put this on and let's continue okay and then so now that i got all those bolts in it should be 14 bolts 12 bolts are the 10 millimeter the short ones um 18 foot pounds no specific order again um but yeah um and then the two bolts in the back the long tens that go to the rear main seal um 106 inch pounds um no sequence just torque them down um but yeah there you go it's on there now all we got to do is connect all these little brackets the one that's right there on the other side as well um the connection for the oil uh level sensor i believe and that's it um so yeah let's go ahead and put all those bolts for the bracket on the two bolts also as well the 15s um that go on the transmission through the, or through transmission to the oil pan as well the 15s don't forget those um and that's it for the oil pan um there's not really much to it but yeah let's keep going all right and then for the bolts um torque spec for these it should be the long bolt size uh, 24 uh the washer as well there should be two uh let me give you torque specs on that all right and then the torque specs for that it's uh, 136 foot pounds for those two nuts so yeah, let's go ahead I'll torque those down and keep going to the lifters all right so yeah first of all what we want to do is make sure we have everything cleaned out um, this is a very important part but once all that is done let's go ahead and put the lifters but before any of that let's go ahead and clean the surface on this and on the head me I've always used a uh, razor blade I go through about like maybe 10 through 20 of them to clean the whole um, engine and the other cylinder heads um, but yeah um, I was always taught to use a razor blade I've never had an issue no comebacks ever it's up to you how you ever you want to clean it um, another important thing get uh, compressed air and take out any water that's in every single port because water does not compress um, once you start to torque them down they will crack your engine crack your block you don't want that so make sure you clean everything make sure you clean inside make sure you take out every single water that's in here on every single port um, but yeah make sure all that is clean um, let's continue all right and then for the um, lifter part this is pretty simple clean it your casing Put your lifter in um, you could or I'm gonna um, oil these up make sure they run feel good and yeah all right guys so yeah once all this is all looped up they're all ready to go um, as you remember how we put them um, exactly where they go so let's go ahead and put this on all right
guys see it once we got all the cams or um, all the lifters uh, lubricated um, they're all in their spots this is the passenger side same exact thing um, bolts the bolts are torqued to 106 inch pounds now let's go ahead and put the head gasket and head um, and then make sure you put your dowel pins or your guide pins should I say and if you took them off or whatever you did with them make sure you put them back on there so the head gasket and head can go on there right okay so as I was saying make sure you have your dowel uh, guide pins in next make sure you have your head gasket and you have a clean surface same thing uh, razor blade um, but yeah let's continue okay and now we are on the stage of the head bolts um, there is uh, 10 head bolts um, size 15 and then there is five of the 10 millimeter but yeah um, I like to put mine in like a little bit of oil um, let me show you how I do it all right so yeah this is how I put uh, mine uh, just you know just a small bit of oil put them on there and uh, so yeah uh, let's get them all like this and then let's go to the next step all right, so yeah, once we have all these bolts, um, you know, ran down all the way to the bottom, make sure they go in right, and we're gonna start to torque. So, okay, so yeah, this is a torque spec. Um, it's pretty much mirrored on the other side. I'm gonna show you the other side though. But yeah, this is for the passenger side. Um, here's the order of how they go. It's pretty much how it is. The top ones right here are the small ones, the 10 millimeter. Those are after. But anyways, let's focus on the 15, um, on the 15 millimeter. So the first pass is at 22 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and do um, an order, 22 foot pounds. That's the first step. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so if you've seen, there is um, uh, three passes for these uh, 15. There is uh, 22 foot pounds, uh, and I'm gonna go over it on my edits. Uh, second pass, uh, 90 degrees. So if you have the digital one, helps out a lot. If you have the um, like the old school one, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, that might be a little tough for the ones in the back. But anyways, 90 degrees second pass third pass uh, 70 degrees and you're good with the 15 um, and then for these small tens right here it's uh, 22 foot pounds you go from inner to outer um, like I said I'll post the the torque specs or the sequence but yeah this is this one this one the third one this one over here and then the last one and then also I already did this other side exact same thing I'm gonna go over the picture it was the exact same it's just a mirrored image exact same steps 22 70 uh, 90 degrees 70 degrees <laughs> and then the last one's uh, 22 uh, foot-pounds but yeah that's it for the heads next let's go ahead and put the 
um, rocker arms and push rods and stuff like that so yeah let's go ahead and keep going okay so yeah once we got all the um, bolts torqued for the cylinder head um, now we're gonna move on to the push rods uh, very important uh, so yeah before we tighten these down um, I like to um, I get my compressed air blow out every single pore because right now they're closed and once we start to uh, torque them down they start to open up whichever ones so right now they're closed I like to blow them out when you like to go through all of them even the exhaust just to be safe so yeah um, if you have a compressed air hopefully you do um, I mean you should hopefully uh, yeah just go ahead and blow it out um, all of them and then uh, yeah let's continue all right and then now that we are on the push rods that our ports are clean um, let's get the push rods as you can see I already have mine in there um, put them in the exact same order I clean them with brake clean and I put some oil on the top right here and on the bottom right here as well so yeah I mean it's pretty uh, like I said like um, it's pretty simple just clean them out put them in the exact same order put some oil on top right here and on the bottom make sure they're straight and yeah let's go ahead and do all those and let's continue all right and then so now that we're going to put the whole um, assembly on um, as you can see right here um, this is for the driver's side uh, these I mean you can you can't um, you know myself because right here these are for the push rods right here so they align so anyways um, let's go ahead and put some more oil right here on these just so it's not dry on startup on each single one and if you want you can put some more right here and then just kind of hand tighten them up and I'm going to show you the next step so yeah let's go to that part and let's continue okay so yeah once um, we have everything all looped up all of them um, just go ahead and drop them in there like I said um, these are the ones that go to the uh, to the push rods so make sure they all line up oh, I'll try to do this one hand yeah. and hopefully you're not filming like me yeah, that maybe this other hand might help Okay, yeah, then just like kind of rock everything to it. And then, um, so yeah, this is going to be torqued to 22 foot pounds. Just uh, make sure each one is on each push rod. Uh, make sure they get pushed down all the way. Some of them do go down all the way. Some of them don't. So, either way, uh, me, what I'm using. Yeah, me, what I'm using is this small, um, like quarter inch with the eight on it. And I'm going down all the way so you know it, it bottoms out and then i'll torque them but uh but for now let's use this and then we'll um go to the next step of torquing uh but yeah but for now just use um you know whatever you got until it bottoms out and then we'll go on to the next step to torquing them okay so yeah once we got all those hand tightened uh now we're going to go to what it says i'm gonna try to post this i'm really sorry if i can't take a screenshot and post it on my video but pretty much is what it's saying is to turn it top dead center which it should be um and then it's telling you to do 22 foot pounds um cylinder one two seven eight exhaust one three four five and so on and so forth like I said I'm gonna try <laughs> try 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 I'm not good at editing but either way I've always done this I've never had an issue I talk them to 22 foot pounds I do one and then I skip one and then I skip another and I skip another and then I come back and I do the ones I didn't do so on and so forth and and then with the crank bolt still on there I took it off now but um, I put it on there I turn it a couple times um i'll try to get a, a better view of what i'm doing but either way same thing just put the bolt turn it keep turning it until you, you know you see it go up and down a little bit and then go over each single one again same exact steps 22 foot pounds and then once um 
all the bolts are torqued and now you know we're gonna go ahead and put the valve cover on but like I said up I, I, I tighten one and I skip the other and I do the same thing spin the engine and keep doing it so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to uh, post a screenshot of exactly how to do it um, just if you don't trust me but I mean that's the way I've done it but yeah um, so yeah, let's go ahead and torque each one 22 foot pounds spin it and torque them all again all right so now that we're going to move on to the uh, valve cover gaskets i already got my valve cover here my new gasket um the new um gasket as well for the for the boats i put that on there i made sure my surface is clean and oil it up uh yeah make sure that surface is clean all the way around um but yeah i mean like i said i put new gaskets all the way around uh, these gaskets that I took off they were cut up well I cut them more but uh, yeah, you can tell right here in between it was probably you know causing a leak you know that was for me but over here is what I'm talking about but yeah anyways um, you know if you're gonna go this far you might as well put new gaskets on make sure the surface is clean uh, put a new or yeah new gasket put some oil so it can slide around easily so it doesn't get rolled up but yeah let's go ahead and put this on hand tighten as well and then i'll show you the torque specs okay so yeah once we got uh, both of the valve covers on make sure you put enough oil for the gasket to slide around because sometimes it can't crawl up so yeah you want to take your time on that uh, four bolts four bolts over here um, each boat no specific order again all data I don't know what's going on or if it just doesn't matter but it's 106 inch pounds each one but like I said do it however you want um, I like to start from the middle and spread out so do this one or this one and go to that one into that one but yeah 106 inch pounds and on both sides it doesn't matter um, what specific order I guess but yeah Let's go ahead and torque them down 106 inch foot pounds okay so now we'll, um i'm gonna move on to the uh manifolds just because i have no intake gaskets uh, but yeah my um intake gaskets uh they come in tomorrow so i'm gonna skip the intake for now but um you know just make sure you cover it just so nothing goes in Either way, I'm gonna go over all the torque specs, but like I said, for now, I'm gonna go and do the, um, like the manifold. But yeah, first, you know, what I did is I grabbed my razor blade again. I took off any set that was all built up. Um, you know, anywhere around there, make sure it's a clean surface. Make sure that is a clean surface as well. And then I got my bolts for my, for my manifold, just because um, a lot of them were broken. So I got new ones, but if you have all yours, then just, I'll reuse them. I, um, you know, they don't have to be new. Um, I do recommend new um, exhaust gaskets, but I mean, you can get away by, you know, just uh, reusing them. But yeah, um, either way, um, let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so yeah, um, out of the packet, any aftermarket ones or OEM ones, uh, they're all going to say... Uh, manifold side and it tells you the direction here it tells you down and then here it tells you manifold side so the manifold side goes onto the manifold side obviously and then you know this other part um, it goes onto the cylinder head uh, these it doesn't matter you know which one you use the exact same thing um, just you know make sure they line up just to double check again and throw it on there so yeah let me go ahead and put them on there Put my new bolts and I'll show you the torque spec okay so yeah once we have all these bolts on here um, so um, torque specs it doesn't say a specific order again it just tells you from start from the beginning and expand it out so start with these two and go cross and cross uh, but yeah first pass is um, this is um, 11 foot pounds and the second pass you're gonna do is um, 18 foot pounds. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, torque all these bolts. Like I said, first pass 11, second pass 18. Start from the middle and expand out. 
So yeah, this is for the intake uh, bolts. So yeah, let's go ahead and torque them down. And the next thing that we're gonna do is the spark plugs. Um, so yeah, either you know reuse them. Uh, depends how you know how good they are. Uh, make sure you check the gap if you're gonna put new ones. Make sure you check the gap as well. Um, but yeah, these are at 11 foot pounds. Second pass is at 15 foot pounds. So yeah, that's your torque specs for that. Or you could just hand tighten them, however you want to do it. But yeah, these are for the ex uh, spark plugs. So yeah, um, same exact thing for you know whatever side you started on. Exact same step. The bolts for the manifold and for the spark plug. So yeah, let's go ahead and get all these uh, torqued down. And then we'll move on to the intake. Okay, so now that we're going to start on the intake, uh, first thing, I replaced uh, these gaskets right here, um, the coolant bypass, which is pretty much the, um, these up front, there's some in the back, I replaced them, small little O-rings, uh, one on each side, and all four are torqued to 106 inch pounds, so I'm going to leave these to the end when I have the intake, because I still have it all attached, so yeah, let's go ahead and torque those down and get our intake ready. Uh, now that we got uh, those two torqued on the back, um, let's go ahead and put the intake. I took my air hose and I blew out each port um, just to you know make sure there was nothing in there. We had just a kind of a suggestion. Um, I put a little bit of oil on the port just to slide around so it's not dry and it could um, bend the gasket or whatever. Um, I put a brand new gasket on mine. So it's up to you if you want to put the same thing or reuse it. They do, you know, recommend you, but, you know, I've reused a lot, but I just put new ones on this one. Make sure all your bolts are on there. And um, when we put this on, make sure you lift up all these things. Remember, this is your knock sensor. Make sure it goes kind of like underneath it somehow. Make sure it doesn't get pinched, no wires get pinched. Um, and yeah, take your time, lift up everything and pull it under. So yeah, I'm trying to get a short on how I do it. And um, uh, do you remember that line in the beginning that I was having trouble? I just um, I took it off from the back, so I'll, I'll put it after. It's just a little plastic clip. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so yeah, this is how I'm gonna route my uh, my knock sensor. I'm gonna put it behind that uh, wiring harness, um, just so it doesn't go to the sides and get pinched. So I'll make it run all the way to the back and come up. Okay, so yeah, once we got all those bolts um, hand tightened, uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, torque them down. But before you do any of that, you know, make sure you go all the way around. Make sure no wires got pinched underneath. Everything is clear. Um, on this side, you can see a lot better. Over here, there's a lot more stuff. Yeah, just take your time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give you the torque specs now. Okay, I'm trying to get a screenshot of that. But either way, it's telling you 44 inch pounds. Or in a second pass. And then the second pass is at 89 inch pounds. So yeah, I'm gonna try to screenshot this and post it on there as well. But either way, that's how you torque them down. And let's continue going. Okay, so yeah, once we got all those bolts uh, torqued down, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the spark plugs and put the, um, the coils on there. Uh, just because all the wiring is gonna go over, so that's why I'm leaving all the wiring um, until now after I have all the plugs on there, all the plugs and the ignition coils. And then so now let's go ahead and put the uh, coils on there, which is which is this uh, coil pack right here. Um, you know, as you remember, it was these uh, tens right here. Um, so yeah, they just go all the way across. I'm gonna give you torque specs just in case you wanna um, torque them down. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so yeah, the torque specs for these um, studs, uh, the ones that go here is um, 106 inch pounds. 
you get a six inch pounds yeah just, just there's five of them uh five over here five over here and then so now that we got the plugs on there and then we got the coil packs on there again uh, let's go ahead and put these um uh, spark plug wires but me what i like to do if you're going to reuse them or you know whatever you're going to buy new ones i like to put some of the uh dielectric lube um just on the tip of this and then the tip of this as well and the bottom um uh, just because uh so whenever you know you take them out it's a lot easier and so you can get a better um uh contact with it I me mean, what I use is like a small paintbrush I've had this one for like literally years and I just I dip it in here um, I put some inside here and then same thing I get some more and I put some inside here as well just a small amount don't put too much either uh, but yeah let's do that to all eight of them um, let's go ahead and lube them up uh, put them on there and then yeah let's go let's continue Okay, so yeah, once we got all the um, wires on there, um, let's go ahead and just um, connect everything. All of these little tubes, the fuel line, the one that goes on the back of this valve cover, um, this one right here, I'm gonna go over everything. Yeah, let's just uh, do everything on top, and then we'll continue with the front of the motor. We should be almost done. Okay, so yeah, I got um, everything from the top done. I got the throttle body um other fuel injectors um just uh remember when you put these back on make sure you put little plastic clips back on there so it locks um i did it to all of them um put the knock sensor the map map sensor i think um this one here the purge uh let me see what else um that's pretty much it the fuel line the line that we took off that goes all the way to the back the one that goes on the valve cover all the fuel injectors as well um the main connection for other coils um and i think that's it um it's pretty kind of self-explanatory after this part just you know make sure you connect everything make sure nothing's pinched make sure these are um also bolted down if you haven't done so already and um let's continue all right, and then so now let's go ahead and put the um, harmonic balancer on. Um, you are gonna need a special tool. Um, this is the GM size. Um, I'm gonna try to post the picture of the installation tool I'm using is Blue Point. Um, but you pretty much uh, okay. So you pretty much put this tool in right here, just because um, your bolt won't reach. And once that is all the way in. And then yeah, just go ahead and just keep uh, putting that in till it's tight all the way down. And then let's go put your um, harmonic balancer. But yeah, me what I like to put is put some of the lube um, on here, any oil you got as well, just like a slide in right here. Maybe if you want it here as well for the gasket. So let's get in, uh, lube that up and put that in. Because yeah, once we um, lube that up, uh, try to like you know press it in um, so it could be even as you can and then that tool um, it does and then see so yeah, that tool um, it comes with the um, the nut and it just goes on there and then you just um, spin it all the way down Okay, so yeah, once, you know, that's all the way to the bottom. Um, now we can um, start it tying it down, hand tying. I uh, did not use the impact for this. Uh, just a nut. Um, so yeah, let me show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so yeah, there is uh, two ways to do this. Um, you could either do it with an uh, adjustable wrench. Okay, so yeah, you could um, use the um, adjustable wrench. Uh, you know, just kind of go at an angle and take your time on it. Or if you have a size, uh, what is this? Size 32 socket, it fits in there perfect as well. So um, I used to do it uh, like this all the time. But, you know, since I got a um, a big socket, I'm going to just use this. Yeah, just go ahead and take your time and don't use an impact. And then I'll show you when it's done.
guys yeah once again and try to get a a better um a screenshot of it we are pretty much just telling you to use a uh, special tool to lock in the flywheel um but me obviously i didn't use that i never had no issue yeah to remove it to use the puller and then to install it how i installed it as well that's just a, a different um install tool and then torque specs right here as well um it's telling you to do 37 plus 20 140 degrees but yeah i just use my impact but i will try to post this just in case you want to be um, specific uh yeah no problem in that but yeah let's go ahead and continue um let's go ahead and put these belt the ac belt on and we'll move on to everything else in the front okay so yeah once we got that uh tightened down um uh, next let's put on the belt um uh, see i don't have mine so i'm just um like skip it but it's pretty much simple um you just uh, put it around this smaller one in the back with the clutch right here and then you get a 3 8 right here and you pull it down and you put your belt on but yeah i'm gonna put a new belt on mine i'm gonna skip this for now now let's go ahead and do the water pump me as you can see i clean this area the surface is clean um, this is how it looked like before and uh, see i haven't even done this side but yeah just um you know make sure you clean it make sure it's a clean surface now let's go ahead and put the water pump okay so yeah this is my new um water pump here um as you can see i got to transfer over my thermostat my housing and my belt tensioner but for now but for now i'm just you know go ahead and throw it on like that like i said clean that surface put your gaskets on make sure you put new gaskets they're not that expensive um yeah so and then me what i also did is that I got my bolts. I got my bolts and I cleaned them out. The threads, because they were a whole bunch of rust. Yeah, make sure you clean them out, just so can they, um, you know, just so they can go in smooth. Uh, but yeah, it's clean your surface. Put your new gaskets. Uh, they put the three bolts right here and three bolts over here. I'll show you the torque spec right now. Just go ahead and throw this on there. And make sure all the bolts go through um, each of the of uh the gasket make sure yeah make sure uh you know never get left behind six bolts let's go ahead and put that on all right so yeah once we got uh the bolts on there as you can see i left a little space make sure they all go through um yeah make sure you know just take your time uh, those gaskets can't get annoying but yeah same thing over here now just go ahead um, hand tighten them and we'll get to the torque specs all right and then for the water pump in a specific order uh, which is uh, new gaskets uh, first of all um, 11 foot pounds first pass and uh, second pass 22 foot pounds so let's go ahead and torque them down like I said no specific order just put it just um, I would start from the middle and go up or down and do the opposite on the other side so let's go ahead and do that okay uh, for now i'm gonna leave the thermostat um and the hoses because they're still kind of coming in so but i will get to that um the water pump is torqued down as you remember now let's go ahead and put this big thing on as you can remember this is uh see how many boats i think it's five boats 15s right here one two three four down here and then the fifth one that's hidden is over here in the back so let's go ahead and put this on there take your time it's pretty heavy uh, make sure they go in tight or they go in right that's and uh, not cross threaded just because it's heavy you might think it's going in good but yeah let's go ahead and put this on and i'll show you the torque specs all right so for the torque specs all five um 37 uh, foot pounds so that's the bolts for all the bracket and then this small little bracket and this small little bracket right here on the one that goes by the alternator um 80 inch pounds for uh, both of these 
So yeah, let's go ahead and continue. And yeah, let's go ahead and continue and let's see what's next. Okay, so now let's go back to the water pump real quick. Um, I am gonna put the thermostat and put a new one. If you are going to use it, you skip the step. But I'm gonna put a new one, a new housing, and a new, um, or uh, I took off the old one, the uh, tensioner or the pulley. So I'm gonna do a torque specs on that, the one that goes here. So yeah, I'm gonna do a torque specs on the thermostat and on the three bolts right here. So for now, let's do the thermostat. Let's put the new um, a thermostat on there. I looped it up, put the new housing, put the bolts, and I'll show you the torque specs. All right, and then for the thermostat, uh, torque specs, um, 11 foot pounds, it doesn't really matter. I got that on there. Now let's go put uh, the other plate that goes right here. All right, and this is what I was talking about. Um, this is like a belt um, or the uh, tensioner housing or whatever. Uh, there's three bolts right there. As you, as you can see, there's uh, three bolts. Um, a size 15 millimeter. And torque down is uh, 37 foot pounds. So here's the torque spec for those three bolts. And let's continue. All right, so now let's go ahead and connect these um, lines. Well, um, two of these, at least should I say. Um, so now I have um, replaced mine. Mine were leaking. Um, I know this is not part of it, but I replaced mine because uh, it was leaking here. Uh, so if you're gonna replace yours, uh, like I said, this is a separate video, which is a quick little demo. Um, you are gonna need a special tool. Um, it opens up the pins and it makes it so you know where you can take it out so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put mine on there real quick and then i'll show you when the, um you know which side goes on which just in case you you know forgot i took a picture of mine so yeah i'm gonna put my two lines and then i'll show you where they go okay so yeah sorry for the bad lighting but um this is how it goes on um, the first hose the one with the Y and then the second hose is just a straight um, pipe or line so yeah this is where they go um, go ahead and uh, put your clamps or you know whatever you're using to um, have them on there secure um, but yeah I'm gonna close my clamps because you're still in the lock position so yeah let's go ahead and continue all right and then for the serpentine belt or the drive belt, however you want to call it. Um, this is pretty much how it goes. Um, it just goes around the alternator, power steering pump, water pump, uh, crank, tensioner, pulley, and back to where we started. So yeah, the, uh, I'm sure you can find it on Google. Um, I still gotta replace mine, but this is a different factor. Um, it also shows you right here um, how it goes. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so now we got that on there. Now let's go ahead and put the radiator and continue. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the radiator. Um, oh, you know, I already put mine on obviously. But it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, there's like a hole at the bottom on the radiator and on the frame. Just slide it in. Uh, same thing on the other side. Um, just There's a hole down there. And then uh, let's put let's put these bolts, size 13 to hold in everything. Um, same thing on the other side, size 13. Let's go ahead and get the torque specs and continue. Okay, so yeah, once we got uh, these uh, torqued down, um, 18 foot pounds. That's the torque spec for uh, the radiator. Uh, same thing on the other side. Uh, now let's go ahead and put everything back on there. I got my clamp on there. Um, I put a new hose, it doesn't really matter. Same exact process. Um, you can put it um, here as well, so I'll go ahead and put your clamp. And then now let's go ahead and put these uh, transmission uh, cooler lines. Um, these are the, uh, like the uh, special clips that were on there, um, as, as you remember. And then, so yeah, to uh, put these on, 
um, you know, it's really not difficult. Just kind of, so it's you know, shaped like an M. So uh, they have to go into each of these small little slots. Uh, try to get a better view and give me a second. All right, there you go. Fix my lighting. Sorry about that. But you just um, kind of press it in. Make sure they both go in. One side, middle's on, and there you go. They're in there. I already got this other one on there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put on the clamp. Um, and for this as well, now that it's already in there, um, you just push it in. Make sure you hear that snap. Pull it, make sure it's in there. Make sure these plastic things go around those clips. This is your safety. And make sure it goes all the way around here. How mine is not uh, going in over here on this other side. Uh, make sure you put them in. Um, I've been using some of the uh, penetrating fluid. Uh, just so it can go in like a little bit easier. So yeah, if you have to do that, put that on there. And then this top one right here is the coolant line. I'm the one that runs out of the... Uh, water pump or the uh, the crossover uh, for the cylinder heads it's that same exact line if you follow it so yeah, let's go ahead and put that on there as well make sure you put this new clamp and then I'll show you when I'm done okay so yeah um, I put some on the penetrating fluid and it just worked a lot easier um, so yeah I'm gonna leave this cooling line loose for now until I put my radiator uh, fans. And then, like I said, I put some penetrating fluid and went in flush. Um, so yeah, that's about it. On this side, on the driver's side, um, there's really nothing over here. It's just the clip that goes there. And then the coolant line. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and put that on there. Uh, let's put the fans on here and I'm gonna leave this top radiator until I'm done with the cooling fans um, I just I can like slide it in and then I'll put the tube that goes on top over okay so yeah once we got the fans on here uh, 18 foot pounds like I said I left this one uh, to the end uh, now that we got it on there I'll try to see if I can get a better view um, it's uh, th uh, this one right here. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. That's why I didn't really record. Um, this one as well from the radiator overflow. Um, I forgot about this one, but yeah, it's the same thing. Just the clamp, just put it on. Um, yeah, we're almost there. Now, all we gotta do is connect the radiator um, connections. There's two. Okay, so yeah, those. Uh, uh, for some reason, I got confused. I thought it was a pin. Um, it's usually on like the newer styles. I just uh, clip them on the radiator, yeah, um, the radiator fan, should I say? And then right here as well, I'm um, just you know pushing. All right, so yeah, um, you know, anyways, I put the upper radiator hose with the clamp. Um, I put a new hose. So, and I transferred this over. I transferred anything that was on there. Um, I put my clamp on the lower radiator hose as well. So now it's time for the intake. But yeah, there's not much um, on this part. It's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, there's not anything crazy. So maybe that's why, you know, if you see me like uh, jumping around, just cause it's, you know, kind of simple. So yeah, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put the intake tube and uh, we'll see where this hose goes this goes on there as well so yeah let's go ahead and put that on there's also a spot for the uh for that too for the hose this one right here so like i said once we put that on there then we'll know for sure exactly where it goes so yeah, let's go ahead and put that too and then we'll see what's next okay so now that we got the intake tube on um uh, yeah, you can kind of see where everything goes that pin uh, there's a clamp over here for the hose um, you know where it routes okay so yeah um, 
you can see right here like the other one as well that's where the other clamp goes for the hose so yeah it's kind of self-explanatory um, size 8 millimeter uh, no torque specs on that sorry about that but yeah this is um, pretty much it um, for the next one I'm gonna just go over every single thing to go over uh, we still got to put the bolts for the exhaust don't forget that uh, that's like the last step but the final final step is to do it uh, quick like check over so for now you know we're done uh, with pretty much everything on top everything is plugged in um, like I said uh, let's go ahead and put those uh, three bolts for the um, exhaust manifold the three bolts over here and then we'll do the final inspection and fluids and all so yeah let's go ahead and do that and yeah let's keep going okay so now that we are down here um, these nuts for the exhaust manifold uh, 37 foot pounds um, each one no uh, sequence again so yeah all these three bolts the three over there as well on the other side same exact thing I don't want to you know take up too much time than I already am uh, make sure you put your filter uh, plug is tight um, hand tighten and then once it's tighten a quarter of a turn so yeah that's it and then let's go ahead and put this bar and the plastic cover show you the torque specs and we're almost there okay so yeah um, I couldn't find the torque specs for the bottom but you know either way put that bar put the plastic cover um, do your final inspection so uh, me I just I filled up the oil I filled up the coolant I made sure my belt was tight um, so yeah let's just I guess you know start from the driver and go all the way to the end so yeah first uh, connect your battery obviously um, your power steering lines and both of them um, your coolant uh, temperature sensor the one that's right here um, obviously your uh, vacuum your coils your wire should I say your fuel line your vacuum lines your fuel injector lines your intake is bolted down um, your alternator connection your um, main power line um, intake the, the head for the coolant in the intake um, on top is just these connections right here there's one all the way in the back uh, let's keep going injectors as well um, coils everything your um, oil uh, level your coolant um, there's not much over here everything is the drive belt and oh uh, so yeah make sure you top off your oil and your coolant and uh, I can't really think of anything else the bolts in the bottom for the exhaust and I think that's it so yeah let's go ahead and start it up and see what happens
All right, guys. Yeah, before it gets any later and I lose the light, uh, even though it looks bright on camera, but I'm done. Um, you might see smoke. Uh, make sure you turn it off. Check your oil. Check your coolant. Make sure there's no leaks. Uh, power steering, transmission. Um, if you have any check engine lights, just make sure you double check. Mine sounds good so far, no issues. I've had it on for like about 10 minutes. Um, my face looks dirty. But yeah, I mean, it's, sorry it took so long. Um, I'm finally done. Um, any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, I, I think I'm really good at um, answering back. I answer back pretty quick, I say. Um, yeah, just like I said, uh, make sure you uh, double check everything. Make sure you check your coolant, your oil, which is the main things. Make sure there's no leaks. Um, test drive it a little bit. And yeah, you're good. Um, thanks for um, you know being there f uh, for me, following. After this video, I'm gonna keep posting more. Uh, this is it, this, this was my, my break. Um, I'm finally done. So let's go ahead and continue with this track, with the new uh, videos. Uh, you know, whatever y'all wanna see, just leave it down in the comments. Um, but yeah, this is it. Thanks for everything. See you next time. Peace.